Hey everyone, so through the years I've used both VMware Player and VirtualBox for my desktop VM needs. I've noticed performance differences between them, but I've never actually put them up against each other. And that's what I'll be doing in this video. Now this by no means is a definitive end-all be-all test or benchmark. Also, there's various tweaks that can be done uh, on either one, but especially with VirtualBox. And these tweaks can you know, help improve performance, but I won't be doing any of them. For the test in this video, I'm gonna simply create a virtual machine and use the default settings recommended by the software and just go from there. Now, one thing to note is that VMware Player is limited to only two cores. So for these tests, VirtualBox will also be limited to two cores. The apps running on the host machine will also have their affinity set to use only two cores as well. This just keeps it fair. So first up is Cinebench. As you can see, the host obviously is the fastest, but both virtual machines aren't far behind, with VMware Player being about 9% slower than the host and VirtualBox being about 15% slower. Using Passmark's CPU benchmark shows similar results. The host scored 2671, while VMware scored 7% lower at 2488. VirtualBox scored 9% lower than the host at 2421. The Passmark memory test is a similar story. VirtualBox is about 16% slower, while VMware is only about 13%. The disk benchmark is where things get a little bit interesting. Uh, VMware benched nearly twice as fast as the host at 181%. Not really sure what's going on here, but I have a feeling it has something to do with disk caching to RAM. To make sure it wasn't a fluke, I ran Diskmark, and as you can see, I got a similar result. Now, I wanted to do a 3D benchmark using Heaven, but it refused to even run on VirtualBox. The best I could get was a, a black screen with the menu bar at the top, so I really can't compare the two. For video playback, I used some captured gameplay footage from GTA 5 and played it back in VLC. These were 1080 60fps video files, and as you can see, VMware played beautifully, while VirtualBox had a low frame rate and was jumpy at best. And yes, I do have all the additions and you know, drivers installed. So it looks like in these quick tests, VMware Player won out, but not by too much. Not factory and disk performance, VMware Player was only about 10% slower than the host, while VirtualBox trails behind at only 13%. So for normal tests, this small amount really wouldn't even be noticeable. VirtualBox being open source has a huge community behind it with plenty of mods, tweaks, and extensions that can be added to really customize it. Again, these tests were done on a bare install with minimal changes done from the default install options. Now, VMware Player does have some limitations being that it's you know, a free program. Now, you can purchase VMware Workstation, which removes those limitations. However, that can get a little bit expensive and most home users wouldn't even opt for that and they would just use Player. For video in 3D, if you have to do such things in a VM, then VMware Player is probably the way to go. In my experience, it's always been much quicker and easier to get decent results. That isn't to say it's not possible with VirtualBox, it just might take some tweaking. So if you made it this far, I'd like to say thank you, and I hope that you found this interesting. I know it's dry and not the most exciting topic, but I was curious and figured I'd make a short video with some quick benchmarks. And as always, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe and uh, leave some questions, comments, suggestions, you know, anything down in the comments, I'd love to hear it. And I'll see you next time, hopefully with something a little bit more exciting. Thanks. Bye-bye.